And today, a father and daughter accused of assaulting a teen at Ruskin High appeared in court. A judge set bond for 17-year-old Janae Wright at $30,000. Her father, Josiah, now set at $100,000. The father-daughter duo allegedly attacked 18-year-old Colin Landis at Ruskin High School, leaving him in critical condition. Court documents show Landis and Wright have a history together. Landis facing charges after allegedly assaulting Janae back in June. This case is bringing a bigger issue to the surface on how to deal with domestic violence among teenagers. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson visited a domestic violence shelter in KCK and discovered this is actually a really big problem for a lot of students. UMKC senior Jamie Powell is the president of the Multicultural Student Organization. She's used to having tough conversations with underclassmen. It's a hard and sticky topic to talk about. Powell is talking about teen dating violence. Girls at my high school who were in a relationship and their boyfriend would like push them to the ground in front of everybody. At that age, that's just what crazy love was supposed to be or like, you know, high school love was. It was crazy. It was dramatic. Powell believes pop culture and social media play a huge role in why teens continue the cycle of abuse. Daria Anderson with the I'm Yates Center in KCK agrees. They don't even, they're not even necessarily aware at times of what an abusive relationship looks like. In many cases, we're products of our environment. So if something is normal to you, then you will go out and kind of repeat what is normal to you. According to the CDC, 21% of teen girls and 10% of teen boys experience physical or sexual dating violence. These negative experiences can lead to depression, mm -hmm. substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. As in our health classes in high school, all you learn about is STDs and how to be healthy, diabetes, all that. But you don't really learn about healthy relationships and what is healthy relationship and what isn't. Which is why Powell says when it comes to her friends and classmates, she's always willing to have tough conversations. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. It's really, really scary. If you're in need of getting help or if you believe that your child might be, there are resources available. There are crisis hotlines, shelters, job training, and legal services. You can find a full list of resources on our website at KSHB.com.